some merch and some tickets for these people that they don't know. What's up? This is iHeartRadio. I'm at Crystal Rosas. This is Maxwell. And welcome, ladies. We're all ladies here in Maxwell. <laughs> to our official iHeart album release party for Niall Horan. Come on. Yo, this is so huge. We're super excited. And we're just gonna go one by one. We're gonna ask how you feel after each song. We can get up and do it however we feel like doing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, as Crystal said, let's press play. This is The Show by Niall Horan. First track, please! Let's go. We know that. We know that. Well, Come obviously on. that was his single, so we all heard that one before. Samantha, we'll start with you because you made the jacket. <laughs> How did you feel when you first heard that single? Oh, I felt like I was going to heaven. I haven't heard, you know, any new music from Niall in so long, you know, due to COVID and all that. So it was definitely a very happy experience. We're definitely going to have ups and downs on this album, and this next track, track number two, is called "If You Leave Me." <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh. We're going through Niall's new album, but we have seen Niall in a lot of different eras. What's been your favorite Niall era so far? Not to say that Heartbreak Weather wasn't like my favorite thing in the entire world, because it was. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> but and, I mean, already like Mel that I love and Heaven and everything, so I already expect the show to be like even better. But I think what's so special about Niall is like you. We've seen his growth, especially when he's been with him from day one, like from where he was with One Direction to now and like mm -hmm. how his music changes as he like gets older and stuff because so, I feel like I'm growing up with him. We are and we're seeing now turn into a whole new person on this album. Ladies and gentlemen, the title track is called The Show. Boom. Life is like a board game. <laughs> Song, I'm gonna come to you, Isabel. Your jaw was like, I feel like I need to make my way into the middle there. When your jaw is here and you're hearing these these songs fully produced and, and, and done, why? What was that? It took so many twists and turns just through this one song. And like I feel like I went through like a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> Every second I was like, okay, I can vibe with this, something new came. And I was like, what is this? I love it. <laughs> I love it. This next title track. It's called, You Could Start a Cult. You could start a cult, you see. Anywhere you go, I'll be. You are so much more than you fall to me. Harmonica, like, come on. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yes! 
you were really mesmerized by Nile. I feel like he put you in a trance. What was going on? Um, yeah, especially when he called us darling. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it was like, okay. <laughs> Say more. Give me more. Yeah, it was a really good song. The, the harmonica part really shocked me. Right? That was a lot. This is a song that none of us have heard before, but pretty sure it's going to be a slapper. Uh, thank you, Niall Horn, for doing what you do on a night like tonight. Let's press play. Before we get to this last song, I don't think you, um, did you know that he recorded this song like in pitch black, this last no, song? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, this is, this is special. So, uh, got some information about this final song on the album, Must Be Love. So I figured that we, um, uh, Go pitch blindfolded? Black? No, no. Not blindfolded. <laughs> but let's, 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 I mean, I feel we should maybe listen to the song in the dark. Eyes closed. Are we really, all right, so, all right, so same vibe. Uh, as the show comes to a conclusion. Yeah, we'll all take it in. We'll all take it in that we've collectively gone together through this. Thank you so much for being here. Ladies and gentlemen, this one is called Must Be Love. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Niall. I'm outside a room of people listening to my album here at iHeartRadio in New York City. They don't know I'm about to come in, but I'm about to surprise them. I've got some gifts for them. It's gonna be fun. Eyes open. How'd it feel, ladies and gentlemen? Pretty good. <laughs> you want to tell him? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Our buddy Niall Horn. Round of applause. Yes. Come on now. Yes. I'm good. You okay? Everyone's like. <laughs> tell Niall how much you love this show. <laughs> what do you think? So good. Hi. How's it going? You okay? Hi, bud. Oh, good. Good. Oh, Hi, everyone. <laughs> I had to come and surprise. I was I was in the building. Here we Maxwell go. Maxwell Claus. Maxwell Claus. <laughs> Pass him down. Pass him down. Pass him down. <laughs> Slide him down. Also, grab him, grab him, grab him, grab him. Boom. Everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. This is my unboxing. All right. Here you go. So, um, like I guess say, before we get out of here, man, how does it feel to uh, have these stories that you sat with for a while? Um, the world gets them, man. How, how's it? How's it feeling for you? It's crazy. Like when I when I think of writing the song, the show in August of 2020, yeah. and here we are, and it's out. And you guys have just heard it for the first yeah. time. It's cra for me. It's nuts. I think like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I think for a lot of people, they're just like, okay, an album comes out, you listen to it. But like for me, just haven't been on every single end of it having 1200 voice notes on my phone and notes and lyrics everywhere and productions and putting everything into it it's a bit these are always big days for me so i'm glad you could be a part of this it's really cool thank you, thank you. thanks for the, thanks for doing it of course and every single one of your fans here are going to be at your shows watching you mm -hmm. perform are, are you excited are you excited for that did they know this uh, <laughs> oh do you do you guys know this uh madison square garden completely sold out but i mean we don't have, who doesn't have tickets? I mean, you're all gone. Oh, thank you, thank you. We're gonna change that. Congratulations to you, man, on not only the tour, uh, but a sold out MSG show, man. I mean, I that's can't just like. That. It's the world's most famous arena. You We're doing it. it. No, you're Thanks, doing folks. it. Thanks, folks. Yeah.
<laughs> well, here we go, you guys. We're going to snap a pic, but thank you for being a part of our iHeartRadio album preview party. The show, thank you. this guy right here brought us an amazing collection of music. On the count of three, thank you, Niall. One, two, three. <laughs> thank you, Niall. Love you, bud. Round thank you. Round of heart. Love you. Everything about this album is so beautiful. The, the music, his voice, the lyrics, he just paints such a beautiful picture. It's like one, it's like a first listen type of thing. You know it's gonna be like that album. Like there's like there's so many songs of the summer on that album. Like it's perfect timing. I had my jaw dropped half the album. I couldn't take in how great it actually is. It takes you through a story. It takes you through a bunch of different emotions. It has a song for every feeling and it's just comforting honestly. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.